All right, here we go. Here is my as quick as possible tutorial on basic, mm, basic fancy stage makeup, especially for the 1940s and 50s. So, um, make sure you have clean, dry skin and that uh, since it's winter time especially that you moisturized with something um, unless your skin is really oily and you s sweat a lot on stage you don't have to moisturize if you have oily skin um, in this instance it's good to moisturize always but so first you'll want to do a primer this is the one I'm using and you shake it and you do a T across the t-zone and then you do an x to get both cheeks and you don't need a lot but just enough to make everything a little bit damp so then you let that dry and then this is a, a lot of people think you should do foundation first i like to do concealer first instead of foundation because if you have acne like I do, you need to cover it up. And it's that one, and I'm using the lightest color because for concealer, if you have red, this has a green undertone that will take out all the red on your face. So you wanna do any blemishes that you have, like I have a bunch over here, and I have a guy there, and that guy. can even do a little bit, cover that up, and this video is already two minutes long, okay. So then do under the eye, um, it's good to kind of make a little triangle instead because then it will brighten your whole cheek area. I've never used this before, but it, I like it so far. So there's that. And I just use your finger, use this guy, your ring finger, and just dab lightly because the skin is very sensitive. That. And just blend everything in. All right, so now you just finished concealing uh, with a shade that's a little bit lighter than your skin, so you can see that my eyes, this lighting is really terrible, but my eyes are, it's lighter under there and we've covered up any acne or any blemishes that are there and i covered that guy up and now you want to go to foundation foundation for on stage can be a little darker than your skin if you need to but it's always best to match your neck so the one i'm using is the fit me by maybelline matte and poreless normal to oily skin and it's 112 ivory. It's their like second lightest shade because I am pale. Um, if you need to mix them, you can always mix with a little bit of a darker shade, but I don't need to do that. I tested this one out and it's pretty much exactly the right color, which is shocking because it's hard for me to match my skin tone. So I can just put a little bit, a little blob about that big. You can add more if you need to. And you can, you can use a few different brushes. You can use this kind of a brush if you like. You can use one of those teardrop shaped beauty blender sponges. You can use one of these guys. It's a little looser, but, um, or you can use one of these that are very popular right now. Um, I think I'm gonna use the old standby here, this flat sided brush. Um, but really you can use these you just go in a circle this guy's the same kind of thing it's a little looser than I want I want to have a little a little heavier a little more concentrated for on stage so go over everything it looks a little light but as it dries it gets a little bit darker and I'm gonna be doing bronzer and blush highlighter and all that and blend it and make sure you get under your chin under your neck and kind of blend it out nobody wants a line 
because that's not cute. All right, I'm finishing this up. I do my eyelids too because you want to get rid of, well, my eyelids are a little red. And I also like to put everything on my eyelids as well because I think it creates a nice base, nice smooth, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, nice smooth base to put everything else on top of. So now I'm all one color. Um, if you do a little too much where it's pooling a little bit, um, you can always use a beauty blender and just the sponge, a little sponge guy, and just dab or roll and get extra off. You don't want it to be too liquidy or it will run no matter how much you try to set it, set it because you've got just got too much stuff on your face. Now some people like to go over this with a little more contour, a little um, concealer, which you can do. Um, for example, if you want to do right here, you can do a little bit to brighten that up. You can do here, you can brighten it up. You can do under here to brighten it up. But it's not necessary. You can skip that step if you want. Um, I like to do bronzer next. And this is the one I think you're going to use. This is the Tarte bronzer. It's great. Um, I use a thick, fat brush, like a blush brush. This one's specifically a bronzer brush. Take this and um, for something like South Pacific, you want to be a little... You can skip this step if you just want to be normal, but if you want to have a little bit of sun, you just go right along the cheekbones, here on the temple, a little bit up top, and you can do a little bit here um, if you want to define your jaw. So I just go a little bit in a circle here from the ear down to there. You don't want to bring it in too far or up too far or down too far. And then just a little bit here, a little bit right in there, and there, and I like you got a little bit of sun, and I can certainly use a little bit of sun. Well, you can swap brushes out. Now we're getting crazy. And use a little brush and do your nose to contour your nose a little bit. But you can also skip this step. Now that you did the bronzer, um, I say do a little blush. Uh, for on stage, you want a pretty bright blush. This one's nice. It's called Deep Wine. Kind of just to get a little sun. I kind of just go a little bit there. This one's very pigmented. And a little bit there. And then with your blush brush. And then I just blend it out. And you do a little more blush than you would do for regular life, obviously because you're on stage. Now that's done. I take a pressed powder. Where is it? There's like this one. Um, it's kind of translucent. It's got a little bit of color in it. And take a brush like this. This is my favorite bl brush from Bare Minerals. And just do a little powder and I just set the concealer and stuff because you're going to put eyeshadow over your eyes and this kind of primes everything and sets what you've done so far to do the rest then. I do a little bit of powder under there so that you don't get creases and you don't get makeup running and your eyeshadow stays. Then I usually curl my eyelashes. Um, it can be a scary step, but it doesn't have to be. I'll show you how to do it right. Um, I get it nice and warm because, you know, you don't want something cold and painful. So um, while the, I'm doing this, I take a white pencil, any white pencil will do, and for on stage especially, or for if you or just having a red eye day and you want to look awake, you pull down here and just line your lower water line, it's called, with a white pencil. And then that will open up your eyes a lot. And I do this first before mascara and everything because it sometimes 
colors your lashes a little bit. And you want to make sure you don't have white lashes. We don't want to look like Tilda Swinton. Now we can curl our lashes. And it's warm. There's no other way to really explain this except to go right to the base of your lashes and you're going to squeeze and then you're not going to move anything. You're just going to move. You're not moving yourself or your eye. You're just moving the eyelash curler up, up, up until you get to the end. And there he is. A nicely curled lash straight up. I don't know if you can see the difference, but this guy's, yeah, this guy's flat and this guy's high up. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Start at the bottom here, bend it up, bend it up, bend it up, and ta-da. Very curly. Do this guy a little because the other one's more. Make sure they're nice and even. And now your lashes are curled. Now before I do mascara, because I like to wait on that, I will do eyeshadow. And you can use what I would recommend for on stage for something like this is just a nice brown. You can get a trio that you have a lighter color, which also can be used as a highlighter for your cheeks, which I'll get to that. The crease and then the eyelid. Conveniently, Wet n Wild has labeled that for you. What a, what a trick. What a thrill. So, um, I take the lightest color first with a brush like this. One of these guys. This guy's my favorite. And you put it in the lighter color. And just do the whole thing. Your whole eyelid. The whole shebang. So, there's that. And there's that. It's lightening up. Now, you can take this lightest color and do your cheeks as well. You don't need a big expensive highlighter compact. You can just use your powder, a shimmery light powder eyeshadow because it's basically the same thing. I mean, those are fun. Like there's this guy that's a shimmer, but you don't need it. I do my cupid's bow for a little brightness. You can do your nose contour if you want. You want to get real fancy? Yeah, just a little bit on your cheeks, and then I blend it in with a big, fat, fluffy brush. Now, you want to do the crease. What's this? No, lies. You want to do this one, your eyelid. You can skip this step, but let's not for today's purposes. Eyelid, just like it says. A nice medium color for on stage. See the difference? It's nice. Then you take this darkest color and do that crease. And make sure you blend it. You don't want any lines like this or any fallout is what they call it when your eyeshadow floats away from where it's supposed to be because you have extra. Just take this brush and clean up the edges to blend it. Take the same brown and I go underneath. I use for this, you can use a couple of different brushes. I use this guy because I like a smudgy line. If you want something else, you can use this guy. That's fine too. Or you can be very careful and use the guy that you used up top and just do it like that. So you've got a nice, now my eyes look bigger. You have a nice line underneath. You got that white, which makes your eyes look a lot larger. 